In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Father. And welcome to the shrine and minor basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Once again, we thank God for all the blessings that we receive from Him. And we offer this Eucharistic celebration, the highest thanksgiving we can afford to offer to God. But we also come to pray, especially to our Blessed Mother, Apu Baket, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, for all the needs in our life, especially for our loved ones who are asking for our prayers. And let us uh, offer this, especially for the peace in our country and the whole world. So my dear friends, let us now make worthy of this holy celebration. Let us once again ask God's forgiveness for all the sins that we have committed, as we say. I confess, I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and to you, my, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed, failed to do, through, through my fault, fault through my, through my, fault, through my, my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, O angels and saints, and you, and you my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, life of the faithful, glory of the humble, blessedness, of the just, listen kindly to the prayers of those who call on you, that they who thirst for what was generously promised may always have their fill of your plenty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The word of God continued to spread and grow. After Barnabas sent and Saul completed their relief mission, they returned to Jerusalem, taking with them John, who is called Mark. Now there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers, Barnabas, Simeon, who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Manaen, who was a close friend of Herod the Tetrarch, and Saul. While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then, completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and sent them off. So they, sent forth by the Holy Spirit, went down to Seleucia, and from there sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived in Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the Jewish synagogues. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O God, let all the nations praise you. O God, let all the nations praise you. May God have pity on us and bless us. May he let his face shine upon us. So may your way be known upon earth, among all nations, your salvation. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. May the nations be glad and exult, because you rule the peoples in equity, the nations on earth you guide. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. May the peoples praise you, O God, and may all the peoples praise you. May God bless us, 
and may all the ends of the earth fear him. O oh God, let all the nations praise you. Please stand there. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. The Lord be with you and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus cried out and said, Whoever believes in me, believes not only in me, but also in the one who sent me. And whoever sees me, sees the one who sent me. I came into the world as light, so that everyone who believes in me might not remain in darkness. And if anyone hears my words and does not observe them, I do not condemn him, for I did, I did not come to condemn the world, but to save the world. Whoever rejects me and does not accept my words has something to judge him, the word that I spoke. It will condemn him on the last day because I did not speak on my own, but the Father who sent me commanded me what to say and speak. And I know that his commandments is eternal. So what I say, I say as the Father told me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. What we have just heard from the Gospel in John 12, 44 to 50 is the, the end, the conclusion of the chapter of signs and my say wonders that the Lord has done during his time, during his mission. As we all know, our Lord had been performing signs and miracles. But in spite of those signs and miracles, there were also who does not believe in him. Might be because they don't understand. But there are those who believe in him and that is why our Lord is telling us in this gospel that whoever believes in me, in my words, will have the light, will have eternal life. And that is because the word of Jesus is compared to a light. And we know that light guides us, that the light open our eyes and allow the things to be seen outside. And we know that that light is the truth. And if we believe on that truth, then we follow the right path. And when we follow the right path, the right way, it will lead us to life. And that is Jesus. That is Jesus. As he says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. 
and whoever believes in Him will have eternal life. Our Lord is telling us that He came not to condemn the world, but to save the world. But how come that He said that those who do not believe His word is already condemned? Yung hindi naniniwala sa kanyang salita, hindi na kailangan sabihin ng ating Panginoon, you are condemned. No. Why? Because in the last day, the word of Jesus that we hear or might be listened, and if we do not believe His word, His own word, the word that we hear and not believe will be the one to condemn us. Di ba nakakatakot? Nakakatakot kasi yung mga commandments, mga utos ng Diyos, yung mga turo ng simbahan na yung iba sa atin ay hindi na naniniwala, we defy, lalong-lalo na the morality that the church is teaching us on the last day we know that those words are words of Jesus himself and that is because he was the one teaching through the church so the pakka challenge Challenging actually sa buhay natin. Sa buhay natin. Dito makikita natin ang buhay natin, kung saan tayo patungo, kung anong klaseng pamumuhay ano sa atin. Na-observe nyo sa sarili nyo na kapag malayo kayo sa Diyos, kapag walang Diyos sa buhay nyo, you are groping. You are just like living in darkness. Madilim. Confusing ang buhay. Bakit? Dahil nabubuhay ka na walang katotohanan. Nabubuhay ka na sa gusto mo lang. At ang gusto laman ng tao ay comfort Kapag mahirap na, iiwan niya, hahanap siya ng mas acceptable sa kanyang sarili, sa kanyang katawan, sa kanyang puso. Ayaw niya yung mahirap. At alam po natin na mga salita ng ating Panginoon ay hindi madali. Ang mga salita ng Diyos ay mahirap dahil Sa hirap na yan, doon mapatunayan natin ang ating katapatan. Ang ating katapatan. Kaya, our redemption, our salvation is not easy. It's not easy. It demands life. It demands sacrifice. Kung gusto natin maligtas, din kailangan natin paghirapan. Dahil sa mundo ngayon, sa kung saan tayo nakatira, ang lahat ay mabibili ng pera. Pero ang kaligtasan ay hindi mababayaran. Kailangan paghirapan. At pinakita na yan ng Diyos sa atin, Binigay na niya ang kanyang kaisa-isang anak upang tayo ay mailigtas so that we will be ransomed from our sin. Jesus himself offered totally his own life. He forgot himself to be the son of God but offered himself like us in order to save us. Pinaghirapan ang bawat isa sa atin 
pinaghirapan ng ating Panginoon. Napakamahal ang ating daligtasan. Sa na po, maramdaman natin ang kalagaan natin sa Diyos. Ang bawat isa sa atin ay napakamahal ang price natin. Dugo at katawan ng ating Panginoon ang bayad sa ating kaligtasan. Kaya sana po, huwag tayo mag delay sa ating paniniwala sa Kanya. Ang sabi nga ng ating Panginoon, kung hindi kayo naniwala sa salita ko, kung hindi kayo naniwala sa akin dahil kilala niyo ako, dahil ako ay isang tao, sana po paniwalaan niyo yung mga kababalagahan na ginawa ko, yung mga milagro na ginawa ko. Dahil ang milagro ay galing sa Diyos at Diyos lamang ang makagawa nito. Kahit yung mga profeta, kahit si San Pedro, nung hiningi sa kanya na kung pwede po pagalingin yung mga may sakit, Peter performed miracles in the name of Jesus. So also, the prophets, when they called up for rain, it rains because they call God first. So sa atin po sana, magkaroon lamang ng milagro sa buhay natin, magkaroon ng milagro sa bansa natin, kung una, tayo ay nani niwala sa Diyos. At ito ang problema ngayon sa buhay natin. Iilan lang sa atin ang talagang nani niwala sa Diyos. Tangnungin po natin ang ating mga sedele. Ako ba ay nani niwala sa Diyos at sa kanyang salita? Please stand. God never intended us to die. He created us for life, but we choose death. Christ, our Redeemer, restores us to life, and we come to our Father praying through Him. Father, let us walk in Your light. Father, let us walk in Your light that our Pope and Bishops may continue to proclaim the good news of Christ's resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, let us walk in your light. That government officials may imitate the compassion and gentleness of Jesus in caring for the least of his brethren. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, let us walk in your light. That people in nations afflicted by poverty may be drawn to Jesus, who became poor for our sake. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, let us walk in your light. That the sick and those who find life burdensome may see God's special love and care through the concern of their families. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, let us walk in your light. That the faithful departed may be raised up to eternal joy in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, let us walk in your light. In silence, we offer now our very own personal intentions and prayers. We include the intentions of this Mass, the intentions of our co-pilgrims who are here inside this church. And we remember those who are celebrating their birthday today for their anniversaries. All-powerful God, our lives rest in your hand. Trusting in your provident care, we bring our petitions before you to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, through the divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual tree. Blessed be God forever. Them. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O God, who by the wonderful exchange affected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we have come to know your truth, we may make it ours by the worthy way of life to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just of duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to load you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the hosts of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful, for his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising the life of all the reason. Therefore overcome with fiscal joy every land, Every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly power with an angelic host sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift you pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave it thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate a memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have healed us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ 
we might be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Socrates our Archbishop, Fidelis' assistant, Gerard, our master of the order, the religious, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with the Father Saint Dominic, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Throw him, and wealth him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say. Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to our apostles, peace I love you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer its other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Son of the living God, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please stand. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord. Graciously be present to your people. We pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from the former ways to newness of life to Christ our Lord. Amen. Gusto ko magpasalamat sa bawat isa. Thank you very much for your presence, especially for your active participation and cooperation during this Mass. Uh, patuloy tayo po sa pagdarasal sa bawat isa. Pasasalamatan natin ang Diyos na sana po, tuloy-tuloy na po ang ating uh, uh, pagkamabuting uh, mga citizens, lalong-lalo na sa pagkatapos itong eleksyon. Sana po manahana ang lahat and be at peace with one another. Kalimutan na po natin ang mga party-party natin, ang ngunit tayo ay dapat magkaisa para sa isang Diyos at para sa isang ina. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Mass is ended, let us go in peace. Thanks be to God. We will now have the blessing of our sick brothers and sisters. Kindly remember the names of your loved ones who are sick and we offer this blessing. We will also bless your religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. Let us pray. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, give us strength and support in our frailty. Show we kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. For your religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may all these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.